everyone, it's Jean from the Inky Owl Studio. Welcome back. Um, I am continuing with my Autumn Splendor uh, kit, my Traveler's Notebook, and now I'm moving on to decorating, or I should say embellishing, the ephemera that comes with the kit. So there's these three tags that you get, um, and I like to take digital tags and kind of add some dimension to them, you know, just so they stand out a little bit. And uh, I printed out this onto uh, a lightweight ca cardstock because I'm going to use this particular image on the front cover. So it kind of left me with the rest of the uh, printout to use. Uh, so what I did was I cut out the flowers, these two little flowers here and fussy cutted them out and uh, what I'm going to do with the first tag and this one here is kind of a it's kind of a plain tag in there I am going to create a little dimension here using uh, some cheesecloth and eyelets so I'm going to kind of glue on the uh, cheesecloth first so I'll show you what I mean Move this little thing on here. So I am thinking um, that I am going to be using the eyelet as part of the center of the flower, just to give it, you know, a little bit of a highlight. And I have um, have lots of little eyelets. That I've collected over the over time. These are like teeny weenies. So that's kind of a rose gold one. It's kind of pretty. And we'll just put them together and make the little. So I suppose I could have gotten my long reach, but I'm going to try and do it on just the regular one. And so the eyelet is just sort of used as a design element, which is kind of cool. So I'm going to get my uh, thing here. There you go. How cute. Um, I think. Um, Lolly, what, what's her, hmm, I got her YouTube name, Peloza, Peloza, uh, anyways, uh, she did a video recently about taking eyelets and using them just as a, you know, a, a thing of decoration, which I think is really a good idea, because, you know, you buy a package and then you go like, well, I've, you know, done what I can do, now what do I do, right? So... We'll just put in the little eyelet up here, and this will work out really cute, I do believe. Because sometimes um, the tags, you know, the tags are lovely. I mean, Artie Maze does a fantastic job, but sometimes you just want a little bit of pop on them. and. Then, of course, too, this is going to be going in a Travels Notebook journal, so I didn't want it to be too bulky because they bulk, they can bulk up pretty fast. So this was, I thought, thought was really a nice way to kind of dress up that little tag. Now for this one over here, uh, I am going to fold into little... Um, pleats this string of tea stained paper and I believe Tanya was doing this uh, in one of her videos recently just um, you know I've done this before but I think this is the first time I've thought about doing it on uh, on a tag so these tags are small so we don't want it to be too too large and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to ink up the not only the edges but I'm also going to ink up some of those pleats 
so that the pleats will show up. Because this tag, you know, is pretty busy. There's quite a bit going on in it. So I didn't want to do anything that was too, too bold, too much in your face kind of thing. So we'll just ink some of these pleats up, kind of give it a little bit more added dimension. And now I'm going to take it over to the machine, sewing machine. And I'm going to sew a couple of rows down here, but I'm not going to sew straight ones. I'm going to kind of like make it wavy uh, on it. So let me step away and do that. All right, so I've sewn my little strips down here, my little threads hanging out there. And I am chose for the, I could probably just do this. That would be really, that would probably be enough too. But I went ahead and got a little piece of ephemera. And I do believe this is from Tracy Fox's minis. Oh, she has a kit with just a lot of little mini images, which are a lot of fun to work with. I've used them quite a bit. And it's a plain, it's a plain image. So it doesn't compete, you know, too much with what is going on there. But yet it just adds a little bit of interest to the rest of the tag. And it was really pretty easy to do. Now, I, you could also glue this little pleat as well. Wouldn't have to sew it, but I do like the threads. Now I have sewn around all the tags and put tea stain paper on the back. So I've already used stitching. It's just kind of nice to use a little more. And we'll just put that on here. And that is um, this particular little tag. Now that one's ready to go. And I am just going to put um, a hole in the top portion and um, put these little reinforcers on. Oh, I forgot. Yeah. Uh, that's not big enough of a hole that... Um, Crocodile is not too big enough of a hole. I have to use the uh, traditional punch to go in there. I forgot about that. <clears throat> there we go. That's kind of a large hole, but that's... Uh... So these are just uh, reinforcers you just pick up and you just go over with your, uh, your uh, Distress ink and you just change the color on them from white to this or whatever color you want. And it's kind of an easy way, an inexpensive way, to get these little reinforcers up there. So that is then these two. And now the third one here is this one. Now I have not put the backing on it quite yet because this, uh, I'm going to do some more stitching. I've got, I reduced some of her um, ephemera pieces in there. I've reduced them down quite a bit and I'm going to make a pocket down here and then put this to the inside like that. So what I'll do <clears throat> is I will now sew around the uh, and attach the tea stain paper to the back to get rid of all this white. I'll go ahead and sew around it all the way and uh, form the pocket. And I'll be right back. I've stitched around it with a straight stitch, except for down here on the pocket. I did a zigzag on the sides. I thought that was maybe a little bit of interest. And here is the little guy that goes inside here. It is so cute. And um, we'll go ahead and put on our reinforcer. Kind of get it on the middle there and go back over it with the punch there we go so that's ready to go now the back of this uh, little card is white and what I've been doing lately with some of the ephemera that goes into here is I've just got this little leaf stencil that I cut out with my silhouette cutting machine but any little you know small stencil would do and I'm just going over the back of these white pieces like this just to tone down that you know the whiteness back there and just add a little interest you know in the, the journaling on the back of it 
and uh, that might be a little heavier than I intended, but um, you know you can still journal over that, and yet it looks it looks interesting, you know, on top of that. I don't think I inked around this one yet. So this one then is finished. So now we have these three little tags, and it's just a nice way to add something, add some pop to to tags as the digital tags is to add things to them. And the last thing here that I'm going to work on is this file folder. Now she gives you these little mini file folders and it prints out with uh, a tab on both sides and it prints out with tabs here so that you can make these into pockets. But I'm, I just cut those off just to make a traditional file folder looking thing. What I'm going to do is use um, this card and make a window to put this card into so that it comes, it shows out on the outside, and then put it onto the page like this. I'll sandwich it onto the page. So um, I've got my hole punch here. I've got my one and three fourths inch hole punch because I think that pretty much, you know, I made sure that this lined up, you know, the window would be large enough to to kind of see her with. I actually, uh, see, I've already done one, and I think I think what I'm going to do is do a smaller one. Just, just a moment. Yeah, I'd forgotten about that. I thought about that last night, that I would do a smaller window than I did the last time. So I will just put a punch in here. Let's see, it's going to sit on the, you want to orientate it. So let's say this is your page and you're going to put it on the right, you know, on this, like this is the middle of your journal. So you're going to put it here. You'll want to orientate the hole punch up here so that your card will be like a peekaboo. And then you need to kind of put a little um, mark like, you know, the it'll slip into the pocket and we're going to assume it is going to be in the middle of the inside pocket. And right about here is where her head is at. So I'm just going to mark it here a little bit just to show me that I need to make my hole punch, you know, somewhere in this area so that her hair, her head will pop out. So then I'm going to come in here and put this in the middle, like so. And that way I can put that mark there in the middle and know that I will hit the portion, the portion of the card that I want to have show through. So there we go. It's going to be like that. And then. I'm going to hold it in place and I've made a pocket to put on the inside and I've turned down um, a little bit here just to reinforce the, the paper since you'll be taking the um, you'll be taking the piece of ephemera in and out just to make sure that that is reinforced to put in a little bit of a thumb notch all right and now we need to glue this onto here so I see that this is not perfectly middle inside there which is okay it just means that this part here, I probably need to glue a little bit more uh, boundary of a piece of glue so that the card will not shift too much. I'll just put it in there like this. All right. So now the card sits inside like that. Very cute. 
end. I will now want to put a little thumb notch there. So I'll just take a little, like, three-fourths inch here I got, and I'm just going to punch a couple of circles, probably ink around them a little bit. And these will be my little pull tabs on that card because it would be kind of easy to get lost in there. So I'm going to take one of these circles, glue half of it, slip it right here like so. Okay. And then the other one I will glue on the other side like so so now this becomes um, the little the little pocket the, the uh, little thumb notch you can pull out your little journaling card so that was kind of fun kind of cute. I liked that little idea went well. And I do believe that that's probably where I will stop today. It's just to show you, give you a little update on the things that I've done to these tags. And they're simple things and yet um, they have a little bit of an impact. So maybe you can uh, uh, use some of these ideas to your ephemera that you're trying to decorate. So next time I'm going to be working with glassine bags and we're going to do make some little pockets with this. Yeah, with a couple of uh, ideas and different mixed media things I've come across to try. So I will see you next time and take care and you have a great rest of your day. Bye!